everybody, it's a time to get down. I want everyone to do.
anything Thank you.
to the pop off podcast i'm derek and i'm matt and we're here with featuring, featuring humans. humans featuring humans i'm jacob i play guitar sometimes and i sing sometimes i'm robbie i play the drums most of the time and i sing a little bit of the time and i'm darren reynolds i play the bass and sometimes sing but that's about it 
So featuring humans, super appreciate you guys coming out. I got to ask, so if you're featuring humans, which one of you is the actual human or who's the stand-in replacement? Are you guys Do you aliens? want the actual story or do you want to you meme? Don't tell me you're just a bunch of raccoons in a trench coat <laughs> every time. <laughs> one of us, at least one of us, is definitely human. Wearing jeans for a reason. Just hiding, hiding the, b the buds up here. Right, so. That's the raccoon, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so like reptilian, I raccoon, what's going on? Yes. No, but we love you guys, man. The, <laughs> the, the song lyrics are hilarious. You know, in our band, we, we do like to put out some funny lyrics, get people thinking. Off the bat, the, the dog song with the wolves was, was awesome. Um, do, do you guys want to talk about that or, or what? just what's your songwriting process in general? So I'll start off on this one. Um, our songwriting process is whatever happens this time around. It's completely different every single time pretty much. We all write songs individually. We'll bring them in. I believe Robbie wrote most of Dogs this time. I wrote most of it. You started with the riff, yeah. and we knew we wanted to do a song about dogs, and then I wrote most of the lyrics for that. Um, and originally it was going to have, like, time travel, and we were going to time travel <laughs> as a dog catcher to find, like, the first dog or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we bailed and just wrote a song about a guy who's never seen a dog before, but he really wants to. Yeah, <laughs> but um, in general, when we are writing songs, the thing that really makes some of our best and our favorite songs is the fact that we are regularly collaborating and morphing and changing things on the spot. Oh, Jacob, that's cool. What if we had a rest here or something like that? I mean, uh, I remember we were in <laughs> at that one house, the garage, the one time we practiced before that neighbor was like, could you please not? Yeah. And I don't think she appreciated the song Genesis very much, but we definitely <laughs> took that home and start workshopping it and definitely collaborate on the lyrics and all the riffs. And yeah. I remember piece by piece all coming together being just pretty kick-ass song to be honest so I think it's so cool that all three of you guys sing and all three of you guys are uh, you know writing lyrics and contributing to the band it, it gives you such a wide range and you're putting out so much sound for just a three-piece uh, with the dynamics you have with three different vocalists and like approach to the lyrics it's of course cool. can I also give you a real answer for that too sure. it's easier to share vocals between three people versus just one person okay. you know made in the whole thing the whole night um, but absolutely we just when we started Actually, when we started, it was just you two, wasn't it? Yeah, it mm -hmm. was just me and him. But I think we all just realized we like singing and we like writing songs. So why would we like have to have like a separate side project for me to like sing and write songs or Darren to sing and write songs mm -hmm. when we can just all do it in the same band? Because at the end of the day, we're doing this to have fun. It's not like we're making a lot of money off this or anything. Yeah, yeah so. definitely <laughs> got a lot of fun from your show. and Real fun. The first track. You know, just seeing it, it gets how you all pass different melodies, different leads, obviously the singing and stuff. How long have you guys been playing together? I mean, it seems like you, you guys are pretty tight, at least as friends. You said the two of you had started, but. Well, the two of us met in 2012. We were random roommates, and we kind of played a little bit then. We brought Darren in a little bit later. So we were officially as a band as what, 2014? 2014, yeah, 2014. a decade ago. Yeah, we're old now. Ten year anniversary. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It would they be haven't even took me out to dinner yet. <laughs> and con is embarrassing. <laughs> it would be the summer, though, actually. Yeah, it would be the summer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. I mean, I was uh, I was kind of pulled into it by, like, the second track. I, like, kind of got, like, the, the lyrics that you had going on. You, like, there was a couple parts, like, made me chuckle. And then, like, as you went on, uh, I got more into it. You had that uh, other song, Animals, or Cool Animals, is it? Cool Animals, yeah. I got really excited about that. Derek and I have a track called Animals. So I was like, oh, man, like, we can relate. And then, you know, like, the dog, cat, and lizard. And then you're talking about, like, being a lizard and sunbathing all day. I was like, these dudes are out there. I love this, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Out man. there sunning ourselves and not having responsibilities absolutely yeah so do you have pets i mean is there a pet rundown i mean i feel like some of you guys have a actually pet yeah this is actually yeah. that's a good question can yeah. i can i start with this you one got that, yeah. we have a group chat called featuring discussions mm -hmm. and we have code names currently like you can change the name of everybody and tag them accordingly i am no cat i am a uh, one cat and i am two cats and yeah, uh, you want to know how we uh, got these uh it's really things. complicated it's really complicated yeah. Yeah. yeah allow me to explain yes please I have no cats. I have exactly a one cat. I have exactly two cats. I feel like you could redistribute the cats evenly, you know, that way everybody <laughs> no, no, could no, no, partake no. I, into I that. prefer to be the end. My dog. girlfriend would be so <laughs> mad if I redistributed our cat. Uh, <laughs> cats <laughs> usually choose where they live. They choose yeah. the owners. But. I say we just all go in the same room, put all three cats in there. Whoever gets them, gets them. Yes, I, I want to see how the blind cats go about choosing <laughs> <laughs> their new, their new uh, people. So, 
hundred percent. Uh, do you guys have like a fun story or something? I just feel like of any gigs you played or you getting together, you just seem like such a fun group. We well, don't I really have fun, actually. It's all an act. We hate fun, yeah. We're coworkers at best. <laughs> that no. does wear on um, I will say that We're how this for the money. How this all started essentially is we had a group of friends and we would at the time, I was on a cajon. Uh, I was on a full kit. What is a cajon? A cajon is like a small little drum box. Uh, and then It's a uh, box of sadness. Don't lie to yourself. It is a box of a sadness box I've sat on for years. Hey, hold on. A box of utility. Please. <laughs> thank you. But what you um, bring to drum circle if people don't like you? <laughs> <laughs> but we would all um, meet up in a parking garage with a lot of our friends, and we would just play music acoustically with that. And we would just do that once every you know, month or two. Mm -hmm. um, and we would jam with friends like that for a while. And then that turned a couple of years. And then we got a kit. And then we moved on from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, those jam days are probably some of the most formative experiences all three of us have. Because it was as wide open as you could imagine. And in fact, it's double that. And we would honestly have like an hour, hour and a half block where we're just making grooves, making noises, just getting new people on. Hey, you play mandolin, you know a couple chords, start strumming something, let's get something going. And set aside time for, um, you know, prepared pieces, what we would call it. Yeah. And it was just such a really good time to kind of build community, just practice our chops, embarrass ourselves in front of our friends mm -hmm. before we start playing out and playing more electric shows and stuff like that. Now, I know you mentioned you said you're from Orlando. Uh, have you guys been based out of O-Town the whole time, or do you guys move around, or has that pretty much been home base for the last decade? Orlando the whole time, yeah. That's where, yes, that's where we met. That's where we were stuck, I would say. There's yeah. a lot of stuff going on. You said you were at the was that at UCF when you were playing? Yeah, yeah that's we, where we met. We did a lot of stuff at UCF. When we were doing acoustic stuff, playing out in the garages, we'd hit up some different tea shops and different places that were just venues um, up in Sanford. Shout up to Natura. Rip yeah. in peace. Rip in peace. But anyways, so we did a lot of just shows and venues and, you know, hopped on some circuits and fest as an acoustic act. And then when we finally had a kit and start amplifying ourselves and start making some noise, uh, our probably one of our favorite shows because of the people we met was at uh, Will's Pub. Yes. On Mills Avenue. And Marshall... Love you, Marshall. If you ever watch this, uh, everyone and their mothers and myself love you so much. Uh, <laughs> greater sign for for you. Anyways. But, um, yeah, so we started playing around and had a bit of a slowdown during the pandemic for obvious reasons. And we're able to still be creative. Uh, guys, what were we doing during the pandemic? We were streaming. We were making songs on a stream. We would pop onto Twitch. I'd bust open Reaper, my DAW. We'd all sit on a stream, and we would just take a pre-existing poem or uh, something like that, or a Shel Silverstein poem. Or public something. domain. Public domain. Public domain. <laughs> Don't come for us. <laughs> but we would just make a song in about three hours and produce it. Yes. So Fun fact, our most popular song out of all our originals and shit is actually Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The children's, like, story. story. Yeah. yeah. And we made a song out of it, and I think people try to, like, go listen to someone read it, but they find our shitty song about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but is how we kept creative, kept in touch, and absolutely just, you know, made sure we were keeping music and each other in our lives during a pretty difficult time, for sure. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys making the hike to Tampa to come be on the show, mm -hmm. but uh, you guys are also saying you're about to make a trip over to the East Coast for a show you got coming up in July, right? Absolutely. We are playing at Shanghai Nobi, Shanghai Nobis, but it's a good venue great area good people of ours over there um we were going to be playing with wonder mare and falling in place at that place july 20th definitely come check it out it's gonna be an excellent time they're great hard-hitting acts and we're ready to mix it up with them a bit for sure we got a shout out falling in place other people that have been on the podcast so those are friends of ours they definitely rock super hard we you're welcome just uh <laughs> going to see their gig and that's out in saint augustine and what was the date again july 20th Awesome. The Saturday, no excuses. It's not a school night. Mm -hmm. You have plenty of time to plan. Yes. <laughs> so with 10 years of playing together, I imagine you got some stuff available to stream, any platforms that you prefer, or where can people find you? Uh, we typically recommend Spotify. I mean, that's what we use. Um, but yeah, we have stuff on Spotify, but any streaming platform I think we're on. Um, you can also find us on Facebook, and is our Instagram back? We or is do it have still an dead? Instagram. <laughs> it's in its new infancy. Zuck took it during the pandemic. Thank yeah. you very much. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, the Instagram is featuring underscore humans, and then you can find us on Facebook with featuring humans. Yes, and we also have a YouTube channel, and not only do we have a lot of our songs on our YouTube channel, uh, we also have a bunch of old stuff. A few years ago, we recorded a bunch of songs with a cajon acoustically in a room, and we have 40 or 50 songs on there. Yes, nice. pl plenty of stuff for us to check out when we were younger, bolder, more handsome, less handsome, less refined, more refined. <laughs> you, you, you guys be the decider of that for sure. So. Well, you guys have been super awesome, man. Uh, I dig your sound. I dig your vibes. You guys are a super fun group. And I, I hope to play a gig with you. I think a lot of our sounds are very similar, just with the, the Please book news. us. <laughs> and I, I like this Tell too. us soon. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, keep on. I, I, and I super appreciate your kind of off-the-wall thinking, the lyrics and stuff, and the, the energy you guys bring on stage yeah. is great. Well, it's, thanks, man. It's really different that. than yeah. a lot of some of the stuff we, you see. We're not a punk, funk, and junk band for no reason. <laughs> We try to bring that with us. You got a lot of junk in the trunk. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We try. That's me. I'm the junk in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for putting on a great performance. You sounded awesome. It was a pleasure listening to you. Uh, and everybody, go check these guys out. Their music is super fun. They're very talented guys. They're obviously a tight group playing together for 10 years. So uh, check them out, Featuring Humans. And, and thank you guys for having us. This yeah, has been a blast. Guys. You guys have so much. Thank you very much. Wonderful host. See you, everybody. Adios. Uh,